Now, when did your asthma journey start? Um, it actually started, I think it was about five, so it's been pretty much my whole life. Um, I was uh, diagnosed, I think when I was five, um, I just remember going to the hospital where my dad worked to get x-rays and meeting him there and getting a whole bunch of stickers and getting them to school, so it was just really a fun thing for me. It was never scary or intimidating or anything, and my older brother had already been diagnosed, so... It's, it's just, just something, something that I've always had and always dealt with. When did you start thinking of making dance your career, and how did the asthma thing figure into that? Um, well, well, oddly enough, enough, I didn't really consider a professional dance career until I was about 15. I was not one of the little girls who ran around saying that she wanted to be a ballerina when she grew up. Um, I just wanted to be a doctor or an imagineer or Disney or just really almost anything else. Mm -hmm. um, but as I got older and after seeing that performance of Romeo and Julia, it really changed my thinking about everything. And I really wanted to be able to dance like they did and to touch people the way that they did and tell those stories and um, just watching the amazing partnering and, and the, the skill of it all. I really wanted to be a part of that. And so, um, then I also had a bunch of new teachers at that time who really encouraged my growth and ambition. And so when I was 16, I decided to attend, um, a boarding school called Virginia School of the Arts where we did our high school academics and then we danced, um, and trained very intensely for the rest of the day. And I did that for my junior and senior year of high school. And by the time I was ready to go to that school, I was convinced that, a professional dance career was pretty much my only option in life. I had to have it. Um, as far as where the asthma figured in, um, I think by that point, I was pretty well controlled. I was fortunate to have found what worked for me. So it wasn't too um, too scary of a thing to, to consider um, going after a career even with my asthma.